Hello, fellow cultivators. This video will be talking about NPC relationships in Theophy model. And、uh, initially, I was thinking I would put everything into one same video, but later on, actually, I record this part a bit later. I realized that first part is already getting too long, so I will separate into two different videos. So this video will always will be only focusing on one thing that is affinity. So hearts or fire does the NPC has towards you? What affect you know? What are them? How do things affect them? And what are the rules? And、uh, in order to illustrate the content shown in this video, that the affinity you have towards NPC and the NPC has towards you, I have used this mod called Mutual Affinities, and you can just find it on Steam Workshop and download it, and then you can subscribe it. Or if you don't do not want it, just un unsubscribe it. And、uh, yeah, what I what does it do? It basically show both affinity that NPC has towards you on the left, and you have towards NPC on the right. Which this one, the one on the right side, which is usually hidden by the game, it is there in the game, and it's quite important in many different things. But it's just hidden; you cannot see it. And of course, this mod also allows me to you know click on this value and then change my affinity towards NPC. And also, of course, just for testing. And also, it's more convenient to to change the affinities so that I can showcase you what other things do. There is also this mod which allows me to change affinity from both sides easily. And、uh, yeah. Rule number one about affinity in this game is affinity is for both sides, and this is the most fundamental and the most important rule for the entire affinity or NPC system in this game. So in base game, you can only see the NPC's affinity towards you. As you can see here, when I put my mouse on this number, or if you put your mouse around here, and、uh, there's one thing was hidden by the base game is your affinity towards the NPC, and you cannot see it when you click on NPC. And the reason you can see it now is because I add this mode. Now, the thing is, there are a few actions in the game that can increase affinity for both sides. But there are also other actions in the game where only increase affinity from one side, and that is quite different. So if we talk with NPC and let's do a small talk, you can see that both side affinity now increase. I like her 37, she likes us 37, and yeah. So each heart is about 60 affinity. So half heart is 30, and that's why 37 is a little bit more than half heart. That's just one small thing. Now, the actions that increase affinity from both sides, including talk and also that including small talk. If you click on small talk, that will increase. Then, the, first of all, that's only when you are not friends yet. <laughs> But that we'll talk a bit, bit later when we talk about the number three thing. Now, the other actions that will increase affinity from both sides, including spar with NPC if they accept, of course. Debate with NPC if they accept and if you choose the correct answer, of course, and、uh, do a cultivation if they accept and if they are a different gender. So those three actions, including some small talk, is the best way for you to increase affinity from both sides, and that's the way for you to make friends because friends is determined by both side affinity. And there are other actions in the game that. Will only increase as NPC's affinity towards you, but not your affinity towards NPC. For example, right now, we our, you know, Lightwood is 37, and she's not considered as my friend. If I click on myself, click on my relationship, click on social, I can't see her here. And also, if you click on her and click on the social, you can't see us there, right? And if you gift her something very valuable, let's say this thing. And gifting will make the NPC like us, of course. And you can see that now she likes us and one hundred and twenty. That's two hearts. And our affinity towards her is not increased, only thirty-seven. And yeah, so she's still not considered as our friend. We are not considered as her friend. So that's just one thing. Is there any way for us to increase the affinity from? Us to her without changing the affinity from her to us, not really. But there is a way. First of all, you can all still use the three ways here. But if you request item and she gave you, 
for example, I can request some, you know, useless stuff. And she grants our request, most likely because she thinks we are kind of fun and also she is selfless. Now, we get this, and you can see that our affinity increased from 37 to 43, and her affinity towards us decreased from 120 to 118. So, for selfless people, you can request items. Now, the thing is, if you request some item which is worthless, it does not increase that much. And if you request try to request item like this, even if she's selfless and she likes us quite a bit, I don't think she will give it to us. See, she rejects. And, of course, yeah, you are not old acquaintance, but she really needs it. In this case, there's nothing changed, but our affinity towards her decrease a lot <laughs> so yeah this is a risky thing to do but it is one way to increase our affinity towards them in base game and now let's see the case that if she likes us with one heart and we like her with one heart so both our affinity increase to one heart to 60 then you can see that near her name she's considered as a friend and yes, if you go to the social thing, you can see we are in her friend list. And also if you click on us, go to relationship, go to social, we can see her as in our friend list. And also notice that here there is your affinity and target affinity. This is the only place in the base game you can see what is your affinity towards the NPC. And in this case, because both our affinity is 60, that's why we cannot see. So let's try to do something here. If I reduce this thing, if I increase this thing to 120, all right, so now our affinity towards her is 120, her affinity towards us 60, and now if we go to here, go to relationship, go to social, and you can see our affinity towards her, two hearts here, and her affinity towards us, one heart. So that's the thing about double affinity thing is, in the base game, this is only way you can see your affinity towards them, and it will only appear here once you become friends. So before you guys become friends, you just don't know how much your affinity towards her is, and you don't know how many times you need to small talk, spar, debate for you guys to become friends. However, usually if you guys have you know similar traits so that you are matching each other, you go out for a date, you do debate three times or do a cultivation three times, that is usually enough for you guys to become friends, to increase both that affinity to 60. Well, you might be asking, so what is the point of, you know, our affinity towards NBC? Like, if they like us, whatever things, actions we ask her, like talk, bond, partner, spar, do cultivation, they will still accept because she likes us, right? That's the logic. So how does it matter if, even if we do not like the NBC? Well, one thing is, if we do not like the NBC, like, this, like in this case, they will not consider as our friend. So... For the person NPC to consider as our friends, you know, in the relationship the social page, you need to our affinity towards them need to be high. And these two are sisters. So first of all, and uh, yeah, this one and her sister we hate, right? Now there are certain things in the game like the Meng Yi's talent quest requires you to talk with ten friends, and that you need to be friends with NPC. That's one thing, but also. Your affinity towards the NPC determines what you will talk about the NPC when you talk with other person. So, for example, we like this sister, and if we talk with her sister about this guy, Chen Xiangzhen, which is the sister we like, let's say sister A we like, we will say something nice about sister A. Well, your sister A has impressive attributes, a righteous spirit, and well worth getting to know. Well, if sister B would agree with us, it's a different thing, because that depending on sister B's relationship with sister A, as well as sister B's uh, traits, okay? So, it, see, they are evaluating their relationship, so B's relationship with A, as well as our relationship. Now, in this case, even though she loves us, even though our probably because our power is not strong enough and she is a romantic freak, she decided, no, what you said is wrong. So her answer is 
it's not always the case. So forget about the answer. But you see that after she rejects, our affinity towards her decreased even more. Previously, it's minus 61, now it's minus 79. Even her affinity towards us decreased too. That is not much, though. How? But that is the point. The point is we talk nice things about her sister. Now, let's try to talk with this sister A about sister B, who we hate, even though sister B loves us. Let's talk about sister B we hate. So we will automatically say something bad about sister B. Your old sister B is narrow-minded, vengeful son of bitch. And in this case, sister A agrees with us, probably because she loves us, everything, but I think more likely because she also hates sister B. And now, in this case, sister B's hatred towards us even even increase, which means she now likes us even less, minus one less. Our hatred towards her increases even more, so we hate her even more. But more importantly, which is now shown here, this sister's affinity towards sister B, so A's affinity towards B will drop. So they will dislike each other, or say. And this is, might not be important in this specific case, but it can be important in two different scenarios, more, more common scenario set, which can be found in people's game. Scenario number one. This is a female NBC. We like us. I mean, we like them. They like us. She is faithful and she has a spouse. Now, if we try to become partner with her, she will reject our request because she is faithful. So even though we love each other so much, but she will reject. So what can we do? The thing we can do is now, this is her partner, Marlin, and this NPC, we managed to make friends, but we hate him. So how can you make this? It's actually pretty simple. You gift him something, and then you try to steal something valuable, and then she, he will attack you. Because, she, you know, if you manage to steal successfully, and be find out, he will attack you. And because he attacks you, we will hate him. And then we manage to win, we give him something more so that he likes us. You know, you can reach this state. Now, because we hate him, if we start to talk with her wife about him, let's try to chat. Talk about your husband, Marlin. We'll say something bad about her husband. She might agree with us. Again, it depends on her trait. But if she agree with us, her affinity towards her husband will decrease. And just as a proof, one month later, we can see this in her backstory. Had a bad conversation with Chingo, her friend, us, and refused to become partners. Yeah, this is something. And then we talk something about her husband, she agreed with us, and her hatred towards her husband increased. Yeah. So this is a way to increase her hatred towards her husband, eventually break them up. Because in this way, you can manage to make her divorce with her husband, eventually. And this is the only way for you to become a partner with her. Because even if you kill the husband, this spot is still taken over by the dead husband. You can still cannot become partner with her. And this is the way, if you utilize the two different affinity systems, you can do this. Even though I feel that it's too much work, just do some NPC thing. But yeah, it is something you can do. Another scenario, which is actually something I think is possible case, you know, reason for one question that I had for a long time, that why does so many new players had really bad relationship with their Transcendent Master if they have triggered that Transcendent Master event. Because, for example, in this case, this this player, I have been re remaining Rogue cult, cult player till 15 years, and if you go to my case relationship and go to see my Transcendent Master, she is still my master, and she does not hate us. So, my, sorry, my affinity towards her is zero, because that's how the default is. And her affinity towards us is still okay, right? But many case, 
many, I have seen many people asking in different scenarios. So say that, oh, my transcendent master now hates me, which is not the case because they did not click on this. They will see a lot of fire here, which is the truth is you hate that transcendent master. And then they cannot find that master, you know, the dead master on the map anymore. And uh, the reason, which I think I finally find out because I have for a long time, I do not understand why this will happen. It's probably you have talked with someone about your transcendent master. Now, because your affinity towards the master is zero, which is basically considered you do not like this master. So the default, the default uh, dialogue will be you say something bad words about your master towards some other PC. And in that case, of course, your affinity towards your master will increase more and more. Sorry decrease more and more, your hatred towards your master will increase more and more. And that was your little scenario. Because I used to think it's because someone else, NBC, talked about your transcendent master to say some bad words, and you agreed. Of course, that is another scenario to increase your affinity towards your master. But many people say, no, I have never such conversation, never happened. Well, even though my attitude towards such things is always like, well, you say never happened, who knows? <laughs> but Maybe they are right, and what they actually did, they talk with other NPCs about your transcendent master, and because your affinity towards them is zero, you start talking bad words, and then you just keep on, of course, once it becomes negative, every time you talk more, it again be negative. So, basic thing, if you think, you know, let's say, basic, most basically, don't, just don't chat with NPC about another NPC, that's the safest way. Otherwise, make sure to know what is your affinity towards that NBC that you are talking about. Rule number two, which is the importance why it's not as important as rule number three that I'm going to talk about, but it is something that I think many people have this confusion and I have seen so many wrong statements about this, that what kind of gift you should give to the NBC? And the answer is most most important factor is the spirit stone value of the gift but also it depending on what type it is so now let's just say that we will give something within the same category so there are categories like manuals categories like breakthrough materials and categories like uh, charms so let's first look at manuals so this NPC is using fire so you might think if I give her a fire and menu which is cost selling price 400 and if I give her a finger one selling price 400 the affinity is different well the truth is they are the same so we can just simply do this now seeing the base affinity is 30 we give her this and it increased to 56 so, 26 increase, all right? Now, let's do it again, but with the finger one. Again, 30. It's the same price. And guess what? It's the same number. So, how much it increase? It's the same thing. It depending on the spirit stone value, not what type of skills that this NPC might find useful. I know it's disappointing, you might think other way, but it is what it is. However, Spirit Stone is not the only factor. That is something I recently found out because I always thought it's Spirit Stone the same thing, because that is the case for Jingwei and for the, you know, Shrine uh, thing. But however, for NPC, it's apparently it's different. For example, we just saw that for the 400 Spirit Stone worthy manual, it will increase from 30 to 56, right? Now let's again gift her a charm, which is also cost 400 Spirit Stones. And uh, 83. So yeah, the NPC loves charms more than they love the manuals. Okay, so let's for a charm which is 750, we prefer previously to 80, 83, right? And this one will give it to 110, so it is much more. Also, if we give something that is a bit less expensive, so 200 worthy, 
and in this case, it will be 57. So you can see that 200 worthy charm is about the same also, effect as 400 worthy manuals. And uh, yeah, so MBC just like charms more. And you might be thinking, what about breakthrough materials? Because many people say breakthrough materials, of course, is very valuable. So it is actually just about the same thing as the charms. So basically, let's give her a purple breakthrough material, which cost 400 spirit stones. And remember that it was 83 when we give a 400 spirit stone worthy charm. And guess what? 83. So it's the same thing. Rule number three, the affinity increase that depending on your actions will decay depending on how much affinity that NBC already have towards you. I know that sounds very complicated, but it's pretty simple. The more heart NBC already have towards you, the more difficult to raise her affinity towards you. And uh, it's also pretty understandable. Luke. So remember we just previously when the, she likes us 30 to so half hearts, we gave her some menu worth 400 that we raised it up to 56. Now she's already 60, so already one heart towards us. Now we give her the same thing. It's 73, so it increased 13 instead of 26. So previously from 30 to 56, that's 26. Now it's from 60 to 73, so it's only 13. So with only one heart, the whole action that you give will already decay to half. And I can tell you if you already she has two hearts, it will be even less. Now she likes us 120 and we give her again the same kind of manual, 400 worthy. And now it's 126. So it's decayed from 26 to 13 and now again halves to only 6. I mean, of course, 6.5, but you know, it does not show the dot five values. So this is one of the reasons why it is really hard to increase enemies affinity towards you if you keep on gifting small things. Because the higher they like you, the more difficult to raise it. But there's one way to raise the things immediately from zero to five. Because if you directly gift a very, very valuable item, it will count as starting from, you know, less than one heart or very tiny values because then there's no discount. For example, one of the most valuable items and most common way to gift to make an NPC like you is Heaven Aura. And it's worth a 21k spirit songs. And in this case, usually when you gift any NPC this thing, it will automatically raise the whole thing from less than one heart to five hearts. And uh, yeah, this is because there's no discount. It's just more, much more efficient to directly raise up the affinity from less than one heart to five hearts. And that is much easier. But that is also the reason why Heaven Chosen are so difficult to impress. And uh, this is because Heaven Chosen, they do not take most of the gifts. And for example, this is a Heaven Chosen. We have the exact same base thing. And if we try to give her this Heaven Aura, there's a chance she will take it. Then I will be, okay, good. Thank God, she rejects it. So this is how Heaven Chosen people is. So that's such a valuable item she does not like. Mm, so bad. There's one item that they always take, that is the uh, Colloquium Room. And notice that this is 200 Spirit Stones. And uh, if you remember, 200 Spirit Stones will, of a, a charm, will raise a normal MVC from 30 to about 57, so, so it counts out 27, right? Well, in this case, first of all, she takes it, that's great. But second, it is not 27, so it goes only, increase only 19. So there is always a small discount from the Heaven Chosen by itself. As long as MVC is Heaven Chosen, the same item, the same spirit stones, it increased less affinities. But also because you can only, you know, gifting cloaking rules one by one, which means the higher, the harder it goes, the less valuable it will increase affinity. That's why it's really hard to increase the affinity of having chosen 
towards you because you cannot directly send her a heaven, heaven aura, which directly raise up the affinity from 0 to 5. You have to do it one by one with small runes. And it's getting more and more difficult because it discounts. Oh, I forgot to mention, it is also the same thing if the NPC hates you a lot. So, if if she just hates you a little bit, then you give her item, it's very easy to increase. Because that, that time there's no discount. But if the NPC hates you to God with five, five fires, your item will again be discounted, the value. So you have to give a lot, a lot of things in order to make that reduce. And if you, again, if you haven't chosen, you try to, you're doing it with cloaking runes, good luck. There will be a lot of cloaking runes. And uh, there are also, I think, two things that I haven't talked about. The first thing is small talk. We talked about that small talk that will increase our affinity from both sides, right? And, yeah, in this case, our both affinity increased 30 from, you know, 30, 30 to 60, 60. So that is what small talk does. And, yes, yeah, small talk really is the best way to make an NPC as your friend because you don't need to do anything, right? So, for example, right now, she's already our friend because both our side affinity increases 60. However, once we are already friends, small talk does not do anything anymore. This NPC here, we are friends, she's considered our friend, and let's do a small talk. If we just do small talk here, there's no change to the affinity. But of course, there are a way just by talking to increase affinity between friends as well. So again, this woman, our friend, it does not show here because the game needs to come back a bit. Yeah, now it's showing. She's our friend. We talk. You can choose I have missed you. And in this case, both our affinity now increase 5. And finally, just to show again what's having chosen difference. This woman selfless protects caring. This woman selfless protects caring. When we do a simple small talk, increase our 37. And if we talk with this having chosen, it will be 26 and 37. So because we are our affinity towards her is standard 37 because it's the same trait. But her affinity towards us is not as much just because she's having chosen. To be honest, this doesn't really make much sense because we are also having chosen. We also have a Taoist mind. We also have red destinies, but that is how it goes. But yeah, this is basically how much discounts having chosen in general have. And finally, one really, really weird setting that you need to remember because that is actually quite important. That is, the number of the item does not matter. So again, remember that previously, if when we gift some charm, which is worth it, 200 spirit stones, it goes from 30 to 57, right? Now let's go this, this one again, 200. Let's give her 1,000. You might be thinking this will definitely raise it up to 500 because it's starting from zero and there's no discount, right? And so that's a lot of value. And guess what? 57. So it's the same thing if you give 1,000. The same item, you know, stacked together and one item. It's weird, but it is what it is. And remember that. Just don't be a stupid person and give some NPC a lot of items when they're together. However, you might be thinking, what about if they're not together? Let's say if they are two. So if I... Give one, 200, another, 200. So what about in this case? Yeah, they need to work. So 84. So in general, that's 56 increase. 54 increase, sorry. 54 increase from 30. So I guess that will wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching and uh, I will see you next time.